Good day everyone. What do we have today? We have this Toshiba laptop. This laptop came in pieces like this. You know, it's quite embarrassing when you are receiving job from other computer shops. Uh, I don't know what they are really doing there. Maybe they are doing software jobs, like light jobs. But uh, on this side, there are very few uh, who are repairing laptops on a cheap level repair. So we do have this laptop, Toshiba. It's coming from another computer shop. So yeah, it's very frustrating because you have to know what they did, what they attempt to do, and you have to bring everything, everything together. And uh, at the end, we must be having a working device. So we have this laptop. That is CD drive. It came like this. I never touched anything. We have this frame with the screen. That's the frame. We have the keyboard, the hard drive, the motherboard. And uh, the bottom frame with all the screws with all the screws. So what I want to do, I want to check at the back of the, sc the screen because we have to know which model of Toshiba is this. Maybe someone has got this kind of, uh, of Toshiba. That might be helpful if we know the model of the laptop which we are dealing with. That might be helpful. So Toshiba satellite. Toshiba satellite. L40. L40 dash. Dash 17, 17S series. If that's the model, the sticker is fed up. So this job came in as no power. The board is not doing anything. We never checked anything yet. That's the motherboard. So that's the motherboard for this Toshiba satellite. Uh, okay, yeah, it's quite an old motherboard. Check this, those old processors with sockets. Okay, before things were proper made, everything was original these days. DDR2. RAM, 1 gig, 1 gig, that's the processor, you can see the GPU, the graphics, and that the PCH, Intel, we have some coils for the power supplies, probably this is the network card, okay, The charging port is here. You can see the charging port. Ethernet ports, some USB ports, VGA port. Obvious, they were during those days they were not putting HDMI ports on motherboards. All the motherboards, the all the electronics, they only have most of them they have VGA ports. So yeah what here we have to do we have to plug in the charger and check some voltages that's that's only what we can do here why the board is not turning on the charger is plugged or we can use the power supply I can't see the head of my 
my power supply just to see what's going on in the current one second i think i'm i'll be happy to use the power supply let's see now let's see now i'll connect this to the power supply it's very simple you plug it here let's inject 19 volts because this board is meant to work with 19 volts 19 volts 9.31 you can see on the screen and uh, how many amps 3.5 amps that is very nice that's the right current to deal with So I'll connect the power supply and it's taking 8 milliamps. You can see on the screen here, 8 milliamps standby current. 8 milliamps, that's not right. 8 milliamps is not the right current. I'll tell you why. I will tell you why. I will tell you why 80 milliamps is not the right current. Because when the laptop is off, probably we need 10, 20 milliamps, maybe 30 for a non working laptop. But 80 milliamps, something is drawing that current. And the I believe. Based on the current position, current behavior, uh, we can say probably the 19 volts is on, but the 3.3 .3 is not present in most cases. So let's see. We do have a fuse, 19 after the fuse. 19 all the output of the the first mosfet i can see the second mosfet probably is on the other side yeah we do have a mosfet here and a current sensor you can see it's next to the heat sink i'll go on the current sensor and we have 19.4 what did I tell you? I know. I know the behavior of motherboards. So why this board is not doing anything? We have a switch button here. Pressing the switch. Nothing happened. Maybe we must have some lights or something like. But it's just dead. The current is not changing. It's stuck at 87 milliamps. Let's check on the switch button. We must have voltage there. Zero. Zero volts. Zero. 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 It's not normal for the switch button to have no voltage because there must be always 3.3 volts which is being sent to ground so the 3.3 is not present let's check on any power supplies for 19 here we do have 19 of this power supply On this one, we do have 19. On this one, we do have 19. So the 19 volts power rail is present. What about the 3.3? Here we have a big ITE chip. Check this chip. It's a big ITE, IT8511TE, that's the microcontroller. 
we must have 3.3 on that chip I'm checking on the capacitors around the chip no the chip doesn't have voltage so the 3.3 is not is not on why why the 3.3 is not on oh yeah i've seen something we have this chip it looks like it's blown up and there's a there's a wall on top of it and the chip is getting warm ah so probably this is the 3.3 volts power supply driver which is getting very hot it's not getting hot but it's, it's just warm it means that 83 uh, milliamps which is being shown on the screen is being drawn by this chip the chip looks like it has got a wall on top so let me unplug the power supply let's go under microscope and check together let's see what's going on here you have to see why this chip i'll show you which chip i'll show you which chip is getting home you see this chip you see this chip check this chip it's the ps50 uh, it's the ps5 five five one zero two zero PS five one zero two zero. This chip has got a wall. You can see this. You can see this wall. This looks like it's a wall. The chip is blown up. This chip is blown up. And the, is the one which is getting warm. So let's see what kind of chip is this. Let's see what kind of chip is this. Let's see what kind of chip is this. And uh, go go. Go go. PS PS TPS five one zero two zero your voltage mode DDR selectable step down controller. Step down controller for five volts three point three. Okay. Can I get the data sheet for this chip? Yeah, that's the one. That's the one. That's the one. So is the TPS five one zero. 020 mode function you know joao step down controller for notebooks system what what blah 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 uh, 3.3 and 5 volts supply this is a joao 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 step down driver 
Okay. So what you can check on this chip, you can check the V in. And we do have the V reg five and V reg three. Okay. All right, all right. This looks like a, is the driver. This looks like is the driver for for five volts and three point three. So what I will do, I will plug in the the charger and uh, check on the chip to see if the chip is receiving any pa any voltage. We do have input 19.4. You can see the voltage on the screen. And uh, all the output, we have zero. So, yeah, the chip is blown up. And so there's no output. So that's why this board has got 19 volts, but the 3.3 is not on. Because the driver, which is meant to output... 3.3 volts is blown up. So, we have to take down this chip. We have to take down this chip. Was it blown up already? We have to take down this chip. That is the chip. So let's take down this chip quickly. Let's take down the chip. Do you have any replacement? I'll look for boards. Let me look for the replacement first. So we have to take down this chip, but what I found, I found this board. And uh, it seems like this is our chip, PS51020, that's the driver. So let's replace the chip quickly. Let's replace the chip quickly. Let's replace the chip quickly. Chip position is very important. Let's replace the chip. Our chip is out. Maybe we need to clean the board a little bit. Just to clean. Before we come with our, our chip. All the pads looks fine. So now let's come with a working chip here let's come with another chip let's come with another chip That is another chip. Always use flux.
Let's see now. Let's try to come with another chip. All looks good. All looks good. All looks good. All looks good here. So it's now that moment to test if we now have a working motherboard. It's now that moment to test. You see, that's our new chip, which is not blown up. So, what I would do, what I would do. I'll wait for the board to cool down and then we can test. Yeah, the board is still getting warm. Let's just wait a little bit. Let's just wait a little bit. Uh, hopefully, this chip is good. Because if it's not, we have a very big problem. If the chip is not good, we have a very big problem. Zero. Zero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think this chip is good. This is a oh, the chip is getting very hot. This is not a good chip. Why? Why the chip is not is getting very hot? Why? Yeah, this chip is not a good chip. So we still have a problem. We still have a problem here. It's not a good chip at all. Let's take down this chip. Our chip is out. We have those many kind of old boards. Let me look for this chip quickly. Let me look for this chip quickly.
quickly, quickly. We have to replace this chip with a working chip, obviously. That is another chip, a second one. That is another second chip. Let's see this one. Let's see this one. Let's see this one. All the pins look fine. Let's see this one. If this one doesn't work, that's the last chip. It means we can't fix this motherboard. It means we can't fix this motherboard. If this is not going to work, it means the customer is unfortunate. We can't fix this. We can't fix this. Why? And still the chip is getting very old. Now it's taking like 180 milliamps. 170. Yeah. So what is taking that power? So we replace our, we replaced like two chips, the one which is blown up, this one, and uh, this one which is blown up, and we replace this one is not working. We replace the third chip, and we still don't get the results. Why? Let's check one more time because what I understand, maybe we tested it too fast and uh, you know heat and electronics doesn't meet. Maybe the chip was still getting hot. And on this ceramic capacitor around the EC chip, IT chip, this one was showing a short, it's now not shorted. And this one is now not shorted. That's a good sign. That's a good sign. Plug in the charger.
is taking 22 milliamps. I'll go straight on the switch button to check for 3.3. Volts. Check on the screen. 3.29. We now have 3.3. On the chip. On the output. 3.42. So this chip is now working. But I tested before it was getting hot. What? I think that the the chip was still warm. And uh, because of that, th those capacitors around the uh, IT chip, let me check what we have here, 3.3, on the other one, 3.3, power on, check the flashing lights, and it's taking 1.2. This board is on. Check on the screen. 1.1 amp. Let's unplug here because we don't have fan. So it's fixed. It's fixed. I can't believe. So what I would do, let me take out the 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 Let's see now. Let's see now. What do you want? We want. We want this. We want to connect the fan. Want to connect the fan. Obviously. That's what we have to do here. The problem, I don't know how this motherboard should be sit here. Because it's not me who stripped this. Like this. Like this. And what else do we have to connect? We need to connect the screen. We have this screen. Which is... Which is supposed to be connected here. I'm curious to see if this laptop will work again. But based on what I see, based on what I see, Basically, we need the screen, and uh, the fan, I connected the fan. Oh, what we need to do is to connect the power supply. On the charging port straight away. It's taking 22 milliamps, power on, 1 amp, Toshiba, and it's working. We have a working laptop. It's working. Yeah, the, the screen brightness is dim, but you can see, insert boot media on selected blah, 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 blah. Uh, there's no hard drive there, but we have a working laptop. 
So, yeah, that is another lesson. When we see the laptop from the beginning, the behavior of the motherboard, it was taking like, uh, yeah, the laptop is still on. And the fan is spinning at full speed. The fan is spinning. So that is a very important lesson. Because most of the time, people, they find it hard to bring the 3.3 volts power supply to life. But I don't see any problem. Because if the 19 volts is on, all what you need is to locate the 3.3 volts power supply. We explained this many times, how you can locate the 3.3 volts power supply. Uh, there are so many ways to check the 3.3 if it's on. You can check it from the power on button. There must be 3.3, which is meant to be sent to ground when you press the power on button. Or you can look on the VCC of the BIOS chip to coils. You put the point meter on diode mode from the pin number 8 of the BIOS to the coils. If you see the any link there, that must be the 3.3 volts power supply. In our case, we have a blown up chip. I don't know about this chip. You see, the chip is written. Where's that chip? That's here. This chip, this chip was written PS51020, but the, it must be TPS51020. Your step down controller for 3.3 and 5 volts. The chip was blown up. So, when you see something like that, you have first to look for the chip. You replace the chip, and if it doesn't work, you look for other problems. I was about to give up that this laptop won't, won't be fixed, because that was the last chip. So our laptop is working fine. I'll put all together. I don't need to put all together. I'll give back to the technician. He'll put all together. I've done my job of fixing the motherboard. So, yeah. Like, subscribe. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell. And uh, see you on the next one. Bye.